everyone, this is Lomi, and today's BJG project is a special request from my daughter, so her doll can match her for Halloween, a Pokemon pinafore skirt. The free pattern is available in my site's pattern archive, linked in the video description. I get started with the skirt, folding the edges of the sides and bottom in by a quarter inch, then folding again to create a rolled hem. You can probably tell by the color that I'm making Pikachu, but the pattern includes options for tails for some other popular Pokemon too. Once the edges are all folded, I sew the hems. I've cut the skirt in a single piece and a solid color for this project, but you could also do panels that would allow a different color in the middle, for a Pokemon that has a different colored belly. The pattern as provided is well suited to slim minis, but by making the waistband pieces just a little longer, you can also use this for standard minis. After the skirt is hemmed, I use a hand needle and thread to gather the top edge. My new sewing machine automatically adjusts the tension as I sew, so I can't use my old methods for gathering quite as easily as before. Once the skirt is gathered, it's time to prepare the waistband. The waistband is two simple rectangles that go together with right sides together, and I sew one end closed, just one to start with. This gives me a long strip of fabric. I press the seam in the middle open, then fold the top edge down by a quarter inch. I'll press this with my iron to make sure it stays folded while I do the rest of the sewing. After it's pressed, I unfold the other end so I can sew it closed too, once again with right sides together. Just like I did with the other side, I'll finger press this seam open, then fold the top edge like it was pressed. Pressing this now will make a future step much easier. Next up is tail assembly. I cut two tail pieces and sew the edges, leaving the tiny base open. The corners will need to be clipped to make sure those square corners stay crisp when turned right side out. Turning it right side out is an enormous pain though, and it ends up taking me almost half an hour using a pair of tweezers to feed the fabric up into the angles. The finished tail is really cute, but I totally realize that making one this way is kind of difficult and more advanced, so here's a much easier alternative. Instead of using the same fabric you're using for the skirt, consider using a matching piece of felt. 
It's nice and thick and won't fray, so it can be cut out with no seam allowance and used as is for a really cute and easy tail that looks just as good as the other. The pattern I created includes cutting guides on all the tail pieces for where you'd cut using a cotton fabric or where you'd cut using felt. Now it's time to attach the skirt to the waistband. The gathered skirt slides up between the two layers of the waistband with the side pressed to a crease on the bottom. The gathered edge of the skirt should come all the way to the top uncreased edge of the waistband. It takes a bit to tighten the gathers enough to fit neatly, but it's easiest to pin the ends of the skirt to the ends of the waistband and then pull until everything fits. I pin the skirt and waistband together to hold the gathers neatly, and I also put a pin in at the halfway point, so I can figure out where to put the tail. Pick one side to be the back of the skirt, and place the tail according to your Pokémon's design. Try not to center it in the back, but put it just a shade closer to the middle point on the waistband, because the side will overlap a little where the snap goes. Slide the tail up between the right side of the skirt and the waistband, and pin it in place. I added a little piece of brown felt to mine to match Pikachu's design. Then it's just a matter of sewing the skirt and waistband together. I use tweezers to help guide it, and also to ensure the gathers stay where they should. Once it's sewn, unfolding the waistband upward gives a beautifully crisp bottom seam. And since the top edge was already pressed with a crease, it's super easy to fold it inward and pin it in place. I use my tweezers to ensure the corners are square. Before the top edge can be sewn shut though, I want to add straps. They're totally optional, you can make this just a skirt, but the straps are what make it a pinafore. The pattern includes a piece for a more advanced strap, which should be folded into quarters lengthwise so the raw edges are inside. You can also make a beautiful end to this strap by folding the end in by a quarter inch before folding in the sides and folding down the center. It looks really polished and professional, but it's so slim that it's very fiddly work too. This is sewn by just running a straight stitch down the length of both sides of the strap. It looks really nice in the end, but that's also super hard, and I don't really like doing it, so we'll go with plan B on this skirt and just use ribbons. I cut these to the same length as the strap piece, and then use a flame to heat seal the ends. The straps get fed down between the two layers of the waistband and pinned in place. I like to anchor them on the back, so I position them just to either side of the tail, and then make sure they're positioned so they're the same length. Now the top edge can be sewn, keeping the seam about 2 millimeters from the edge. The last step for construction is to fold the skirt so the open edges of the sides are together, with the right sides together, so it can be closed. I start with the skirt sideways and sew in from the edge, about halfway down the skirt, then turn to sew down to the bottom hem, backstitching at the beginning and end of the seam. 
This creates a side slit opening deep enough to fit over the doll's hips. From here on out, there's just finishing work to do. I add a snap at the open side of the waistband so the skirt can be closed, but a hook and I would work well too. Sewing snaps is one of my least favorite things to do. So tedious. Then I sew snaps for the straps to the front of the waistband, and sew snaps to the ribbon straps. Since the ribbon is just one layer, it looks pretty ugly with the snap sewn on. Fortunately, this is easy to remedy by sewing a cute button on over the stitches to hide them. I chose red ones, inspired by Pikachu's cheeks. The last thing for me to do is add stripes to the back of the waistband. I decided to do this with pieces of felt that I attached to the back with fabric glue. And now this little pinafore is done. I took my doll's wig off so you'd be able to see the back, and it was around this point that I realized I did the square tail instead of the heart-shaped tail Evie has on her costume, so I think she'll be mad at me for getting it wrong. Hopefully not, though. Otherwise, I guess I'll keep this one for myself, because it's pretty cute on my doll, too. And that's all for today, though. Thanks for watching. Bye.